Hello everybody, Steve of Rude My Dice, Ultramarines and Beyond, and we're doing a very special unboxing. That's right. I went to my local games workshop and picked up Space Marine 2, the starter set, the recruit edition. Then some boxes, bad boy. Here we have the recruit edition That's for Space Marine 2, featuring everyone's favorite Lieutenant Titus. This bad boy over. Gives you a bit of a rundown in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium. There is only war. Uh, so it gives us sort of a survival game. Help you learn the rules, the basics. Of course, you have 12 models in all. We have Lieutenant Titus, uh, 10 Gaunts, and a Ripper Swarm. This one also cool comes cool because you do get some paints, paintbrush, and some clippers. All for the low, low price of $80 Canadian. So let's open this bad boy up. We do have the handbook on top there. We'll take a look at that. Uh, we have here a sprue for Lieutenant Titus in all his glory. Uh, this is cool. I think this here is, yeah, that's the dice. A cool little dice pack there. Uh, I do like this. It packed up the, uh, the paints there. So your five paints. Uh, looks like we've got, uh, let's get these out of here. Oh, tougher than I thought. We have in one hand. Yes, we have Nagath, uh, Nagaroth. Knight, uh, we have McCraig Blue, of course, what else is here? Uh, we have the Black, uh, what else we got? Wraithbone, and of course, Balthazar Gold, so we have those there. Of course, some of the Gaunts, bases, you gotta love bases. Ah, uh, our Clippers, nice Clippers there, that's not so bad. Uh, of course, here we have more Gaunts and more of the Ripper Swarms. Paintbrush, always good to have a paintbrush. Uh, we have a page, looks like here, this will be our tokens. Uh, looks like I'm going to cut these out. These are, yes, tokens and the 6-inch measuring stick there. So you have Space Marine symbol one side, and of course, tiered it on the other. Oh, oh, no, I might have been wrong about that. Looks like we have our play mat. We'll unfold that in a minute. Yep, yeah, and there, some extra paper. Oh, and there is our 12 inch ruler. Oh, you know what? I get what these are. These are not, uh, these are actually the wound counters uh, that they put in there. Of course, our measuring stick. Very cool, like the see through plastic. Uh, I do miss the red whippy sticks though. All right, so that is the contents of everything. Uh, so let's take a look at these sort of on an individual basis. All right, so here we have our sprue of termagants. Okay, you see a couple ripper swarms there. Another one there, and where's the last little guy? Where is he? Oh, no, there's all three of them right there. So that's your ripper swarm. You have your 10 gaunts here with their flesh bores, and of course, we can't forget the hero of the hour, Lieutenant Titus here. Now, these are all push fits, so they're all gonna go together nicely. You do have multiple head options there, so let's see, a, a helmeted head, and of course, Bear, he's got his uh, victory laurels there. Very cool, armed with a uh, heavy bolt pistol and chain sword. Very cool, and of course, he's on his tactical rock. You gotta love a good tactical rock. You can't be a space game player without it's a few tactical rocks. Uh, really cool details on these. I like the new molds. I'm really excited, obviously, about putting Lieutenant Titus together. I think he's going to be great. Uh, lots of cool stuff. I find it funny that like, he has an ultramarine symbol here. Obviously, the chest piece here has an ultramarine symbol. Uh, yeah, the knee pad has an ultramarine symbol. Uh, but they leave. Where did it go? Yeah, this one is where he should have an ultramarine symbol, and it's nothing. Which I find a bit weird. I thought maybe they would have put a ultramarine symbol in there too, since it's everywhere else. But hey, you know, you get what you get. Uh, really cool models. I'm not surprised. I, I do like the fact that you. It is sort of like a survival game. You're not having mini force versus, versus mini force. This one. This one is obviously to recreate the feeling of being uh, Titus in Space Marine Two and going out against hordes of tyrannid and monstrosities. And so next we have the hobbying side of it. We just said we have the 12 inch measuring ruler there. We've got our paints, McCraig Blue, Alvin and Black, Nagaroth Knight, our uh, Wraithbone, 
and our Balthazar Gold six dice. This nice little set of clippers here. They're actually pretty springy. They're not bad at all. Very nice. And of course, we get a starter brush. It's hard to see there, but yes, a nice starter brush. About the same as what I expect from uh, Games Workshop brushes. Looks pretty good. Nice little uh, great way to get people started. Now we have the play area here. I believe this is the actual training side. Yeah, it looks like it's got places marked out here for gaunts. Stuff over here for different placements as you're learning the game. Let's just flip it over. I believe this is for when you're actually playing the, the missions. I'll take a look at that in a second. I did read there were some missions here. Obviously, you have some cool design in here. You have a, you have a dead gaunt that's been blown open. You have a poor Space Marine's arm there. Of course, a blood trail going to some horrible pit. Lots of great details. The uh, terrain sliced up. Uh, you have another ripper over here who's dead. Uh, an abandoned chain sword over here. Some very cool little details. I'm liking this. This is pretty cool. It's actually not bad sized either. It's quite large. And of course here we have the rule book itself. The handbook. Space Marine 2 Recruit Edition with Titus in the front and all his glory. Open up here. All the contents there. How to paint. How to build. Uh, cool little fluff about the just the introduction a lot of times. The 41st millennium. Very cool. War races across a million worlds. Humanity stands alone in a vast and uncaring galaxy, faced by horrors on every side. Every day, hope grows more distant. There is no peace, only a battle for dominant survival. Mankind it's, itself stands on the precipice of annihilation. So, you know, normal, cheerful stuff you expect from Warhammer 40,000. Of course, this is some of the artwork we saw earlier. It's Titus standing against the tide, and you can actually see oh, there's no one else there, just poor old Titus by himself. Uh, gives you a quick rundown of how to build him. And, of course, the Gaunts and the Rippers. You see the whole force there. Uh, next, we have painting him. Basically, thinning your paints. Loading your brush. It's got everything. It's, it's actually really cool. I like that. Loading your brush. How to properly paint. I like this. It's giving some nice paint, paint directive. The quick paint for, uh, for Titus. All right, and actually to go off, uh, you know, three coats to get his blue down properly, and then where to put the abbot in black, the Balthazar gold, right? Even the wraith bone to kind of give him a once over. Now again, it doesn't give you a complete model, as you can see. He's sort of lots of white left on him. Uh, they do the same thing for the tyranids, all the different points to get yourself a nice force of tyranids going there. Of course, you have to have the fluff. About the Space Marines, the Angels of Death themselves, uh, stuff about Ultramarines, uh, Lieutenant Titus, like the artwork here is actually from him when he was Captain Titus, that is the old school uh, firstborn version of him, and uh, obviously some extra stuff about the, the chapters and how they work, right, you can see the start of the uh, one of the, the uh, combat patrols there, some of the models from the, uh, the, the box set. The original box set there. And I actually love this piece of artwork here. This is actually in the Space Marine Codex. Uh, it's cool to see it sort of unobstructed by all the fluff. The Marines charging forward. These macro cannons firing into the void of space. Obviously they're attacking some planet down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course we can't forget about the, the Great Devourer. The Tyranids. Again some more fantastic artwork. Lots of great fluff about them. Uh, Leviathan again. You can see Titus there as a as a captain. That's his old school armor. And of course, again more from uh, the the more the, the further model range. As you go through again, some more amazing artwork here. A big uh, void battle going on in space there. Very 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 cool. Battle barge charging in against one of the giant bio ships. And then we get to the cool stuff, the rules of engagement, where they give you the tools of war, obviously your ruler, models, dice, your battle mat. You kind of go through, there is some data sheets, uh, wound markers, objective markers, and of course it gives you the battle mat training scenario one and two, the different things you're going to go through. Uh, they actually give you some definition of walls, I believe that's the black lines here, so they actually, while not giving you actual 3D terrain, they do provide some line of sight blocking, something obviously it's important later. 
training scenario one, you go through moving and shooting, and you'll need one Lieutenant Titus, three Termagants, your battle mat, ruler, and dice. And it goes through movement, shooting, Tyranid saves, Tyranid turn, shooting. Now, one of the things I noticed, I have looked at this before, is in this playthrough of the year, they actually skipped the to wound roll, which kind of makes sense to me. Um, back when I worked at Games Workshop, we when we ran like an intro game, we tried to keep it easy. Which, uh, back in the day, we did four, so everything hit on fours, everything moved on fours, just to make things go easily. Uh, yeah, they go through movement, shooting, and then right to saves, no wounding, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I'll talk about it a bit later, but there's I think there's a really solid good reason for that. Um, as we go on, we have training scenario two, which gives us seven term gods, one ripper, and ten titus. And it goes to the same thing, the Tyranid turn, charging, fighting. So obviously the first one is shooting. This is about actually getting into close combat, a great way to sort of explain people the rules. You go through shooting, then you go through the charge phases and all that. Go to Space Marine turn. The Space Marines, they even have stuff of being surrounded, charging in, fighting. Uh, the Space Marine attacks. And you just keep going until the end. Of course, then you have your mission briefing, of objective secured. Board you actually have to and capture objectives and you get cool uh, rules depending on who you're playing. So uh, Titus actually has a whole bunch of cool different tech he can get, whether it's armor piercing rounds to biophage grenades, portal pull apothecary, and elite cash. Uh, even the Tyranids have sudden spawns, which allows you to get more models back. Uh, it gives you break down the turn, which is nice. Let me hold the line. Uh, from what I read this one earlier, he, it's actually him facing more and more Tyrans, basically just having to survive. Very, very cool. Again, a breakdown of the turn. And, of course, where to go next, whether it's getting a librarian or the combat patrol, uh, space marine paint sets, how to paint your marines, which is nice, gives you a little breakdown of what colors they're using. Obviously, I'm going to furnish some marine here. And, of course, they do the same with the, the uh, Tyranids. Gives Barb Gaunts, the Combat Patrol, Tyranid Paint Set, and, of course, the colors. And the example here that you, they use here is a Gaunt. Very nice. Um, and, of course, here we have the data sheets. And these are very simplified. You have movement, save, and wounds. Uh, your weapons, the range, attacks, attack rolls, the same with the Termagants and the Ripper Swarm. Um, stuff like... Toughness is out, strength is out, your base is how many attacks you get, what you have to hit, and of course what your saves are. And movement, which is nice. Very, very, I like this, it's very basic, it's great for getting new people into the game. And of course, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war with the angry looking Titus there. I just got a cool rule here, they did include some special rules, where to go? Yes, Fueled by Fury. Whenever Lieutenant, sorry, that's the American way. Lieutenant Titus slays an enemy, roll a dice. If you roll a three, four, five, or six, remove a wound marker from him. And I guess that is to go with the game. You do, I believe, still get special kills, which can either, uh, I believe, uh, regenerate your health, regenerate your armor, which that makes sense. He, he allows him to also kind of survive uh, in some of these, uh, like Mission 2, where he just faces swarm after swarm. Oh, very cool. And that is the uh, full contents of our box set. Okay, well, that is the full contents of this new uh, Recruit Edition. Now, it is, it's a bit different, obviously, if you look at it, than some of the other Recruit Editions that have come out for, say, last edition, this edition, where you, you get two very small forces, uh, very, very basic, but you do get them, you do get... Uh, Obviously, a little battle mount to fight over and, and things like that. This one is, is significantly different. I think there's a very good reason for that. Same reason why the rules are changed down while Titus is very special in his own way. Um, it's because this is geared towards the people who are going to be interested in the hobby because of playing the game. And so everything about this is designed to try and get the same feel as playing on the game. It makes it an easy transition. So people, it, this is really, this isn't a set for someone like me. I had to get it because Brickin' Space Marine 2. It's got Titus. I need Titus. I'm an Ultramarines player. How awesome is it to have him? Um, it's a bit weird. <laughs> um, because the way he's armed is not actually a way you can use a lieutenant in the Space Marine Codex. He's armed with a heavy bolt pistol and a chainsaw. Chainsaw is not an option for any lieutenant in the Space Marine Codex. 
but that's cool. He's not designed for me or to fit in the coins. He's designed to get people who have played the the the, the, the video game to try and 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 play the tabletop game so he looks like he does in the game there's a bunch of gaunts a ripper swarm great little additions to the to anybody who actually plays space marines or tyranids uh, but it's designed for those new people that's why the battle mat looks the way it does that's why um you have wound markers uh, it's not wound markers in anything else that's why even the rules have been cut down you're not worrying about toughness you're not worrying about about uh, uh, you know leadership or or oc or anything like that it's about just swinging killing tyranids or having tyranids killed titus it's about just having that fun and trying to replicate the game on the tabletop it's very very cool uh the you know that's why they got rid of wounds you're just hitting and you're saving there's no extra rolls it's very very simplified which is actually a very very cool way to get people into it um i would definitely recommend it for people who are brand new to the game who have have come in harv who have come in through the uh the video game it's great it i think it does replicate the feeling of it and i think it's it's going to attract those people in which is great we always want to see new people get into the the hobby um and it's a great way to introduce them obviously uh so for me this is like a 10 out of 10 box set i like it it's cool um i like the fact that it comes with paint and some dice uh the, the clippers it's just it's uh, the brush it's just some extra little cool things in there uh, and the way they explain the painting, as I said, it, the way they explained it, very step by step, great for people who've never painted a model before, who can actually get their hands dirty painting their first bunch of models. I like the fact that there's multiple coats, thin your paints, clean your brush, all these cool little steps and tips that a lot of us know and take for granted nowadays. But a lot of new people, you may not think to tell them that. And this is a, does a great job of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to leave it there. I had to pick it up. Uh, there's some other stuff coming too. I'm waiting for another box to arrive. I went to the Games Workshop store mostly to get this, but also get another box of stuff for my Halloween thing. It's going to be coming in hopefully this week, maybe the week following. I don't know yet. Hopefully soon. I'll have time still to get everything done. Uh, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, share it. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Keep rolling those dice. Bye.